Hi, in this video we are going to create this procedural material in Blender, so stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me introduce our asset store website, where you can explore a variety of free and premium assets. We offer high quality game ready assets and also Blender projects, all of which you are free to use in any of your projects. So be sure to check out our store at blackcave.com store. Sometimes you may need to create the material in Blender itself procedurally without using, uh, for example, Substance Painter and other texturing software. So, how to do this? First, let's add a mesh to the scene. I will use a plain mesh and I download a complicated model. Next, I need to open a shader editor window. Here, press new to create a new material for the plane and uh, press Z key and go to the rendered mode. Here, I don't need this point light. Instead of it, let's add a sunlight or directional light to the scene and rotate it a little Alright, I'm gonna create a metallic surface. Here I need to increase the metallic. Alright, uh, this value works. We have several steps. First, let's work on the roughness. Next, we'll work on base color. And the last step is to adding the normal section. I want to apply some spots for roughness on the surface, so I will use noise texture node. Press Ctrl, Shift and click to go in the preview mode on the noise texture and let's adjust the uh, attributes. For example, increase the scale. This is good. And details. And roughness. Lower roughness value uh, will make the noise smooth. I don't want it. And this is good. And I think this works. I can directly connect the fact to the roughness and press Ctrl Shift click to activate this node and as you can see this is good. But I can add a contrast node, brightness contrast node to adjust this noise effectively. And we can increase or decrease the contrast to get better control. For example, this is good. Next, let's add a simple normal map to our material. I will enhance the roughness later. I'm gonna use the noise texture for the normal as well. Here I need to adjust the values and uh, press Control shift click to activate the preview and here I need to increase the scale. I want to add micro normal map to the surface. And here, let's see it closer and increase the roughness and this is good. But let's change the FBM to Rigid Multifractal. All right, this works well. And let's change the offset. For example, this is good. Now let's convert it to the normal map. 
I need to use a node called bump. Connect the VAC to height. If you have a normal, you can connect it to the normal input. But I have a grayscale texture and I need to use height. And then connect the normal to normal input of the material. And press Ctrl Shift click to activate the final result. All right, the bump effect is too high. Let's uh, reduce it. Okay, as you can see, it works well. Now let's add base color. I will use noise texture for the base color as well. I wanna mix two colors based on the noise texture. So I need a node called color ramp. Color ramp gives a gradient color and I don't want to use gradient. So I will delete this node and I only have a color, only one color. For example, this and shift D and another color. To combine these two colors, I need to use mix color. And I need to connect effect to vector and this color to A and this color to B. Right, and finally connect the result to base color. Alright, good. We can use a brightness and contrast to adjust the noise texture. As you can see, we can easily adjust it. All right, good. Here we have a simple material with micro details, but we need to enhance it. First, let's enhance the roughness. I want to add a grayscale texture to combine with this noise texture. I have a simple texture that you can see it's a dirt texture that you can download it from our store and also the link is in the description and uh, next I need to combine it with the noise texture. So I will use a math node. Add operation works well. Uh, we don't need to change it to multiply or other operations and here the final value to the roughness and control shift click all right as you can see dirt areas are applied but i need to change the color space to non-color not rgb all right also we can add a texture coordinate node to this texture uh, select it and press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate node and we can easily change the scale value. For example, this value. We can also use a contrast or math node to control this texture. Let's use math and change the operation to multiply. Here we can easily control it. All right, good. We can also use this multiply to adjust the entire roughness. And, and here. Next, let's enhance the normal map. I will use another texture, which is this texture, and we will combine to the noise texture. Let's convert this texture to normal map using the bump. And here, instead of normal, I need to uh, connect it to the high. All right. As you can see, the normal has been created. And now I can use mix color to combine these two normal maps. I need to change the color to vector. And 
connect this and connect this. Finally connect the result to normal. All right, let's get closer. And here I need to increase the strength. And it's not good, I need to invert it. All right, good. I can use a texture coordinate, control T, and increase the scale of the second normal map. All right, this is our result, and you can download this project from our asset store, and also the link is in the description. You can enhance it and add more capabilities to the material and all of them are procedurally. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.